Let's use the KFA310 to perform a frequency protection test. First open the slip frequency module. Select the frequency. The set value on the protection relay is 48 Hz, so set a value less than that at the frequency end value, set it to 47 Hz. Here, set the step size to 1 Hz. The set value on the protection relay is 2 Hz per second. Set the slip to a value less than the set value. Set the slip to 1. Here, the time parameters are displayed, including pre-fault time, fault hold time, and fault interval time. After setting, click Add, then click Start to run. Here, it displays the trip value, which matches the set value on the protection relay, so the test passes. Next, proceed to another module. Select the time module. The set value on the protection relay is 48 Hz. So set the initial value to 50 Hz, and set the end value to less than the set value, set it to 47 Hz. Set the frequency action to the same as the relay protection set value, which is 48 Hz. The slip rate set value on the protection relay is 2 Hz per second. Here, set it to 1 Hz per second, because a larger slip rate will enter the lockout state and not operate. After all settings are complete, click Add, then start the test. Check the test results. The action time is 1.09 second, which matches the parameters set on the protection relay, so the test passes. Select the slip locking module, here set its initial and end values. The slip rate set value on the protection relay is 2 Hz per second. When the value exceeds 2 Hz per second, the protection relay will be in a lockout state and will not operate. So, set the initial value to change from 5 Hz to 1 Hz. It will unlock and act normally when it is less than or equal to 2 Hz. Set the step size to 1 Hz per second. The frequency set value on the protection relay is 48 Hz, we set the initial and final frequency value as the same as the previous test. After all settings are complete, click Add, then start the test. We can see that the result matches the set value on the protection relay, so the test passes. Then proceed to the next test. Select the undercurrent latch module. Here are the initial current value, final value, and step size. The undercurrent latch will be in a locked state when the current is low. It will only unlock when the current value is increased to the set value. The set value on the protection relay is 4 amps, so set the initial value less than 4 amps and the final value greater than 4 amps. Set the step size to 1 amps here. The frequency set value is 48 Hz, set the initial and final frequency value as same as the previous test. Set the frequency slip to 1 Hz per second. After completing all the settings, click Add and then Start. We can see that the test result matches the set value, so the test passes. The test is complete.